Hi, this is Robert from Tinby Software. And this is Fly on the iPhone. From the start screen, you can easily access the help manual. But now, let's go to the Flap screen and start flapping. Flap is based on Google Maps, which you can easily move around, use your fingers to pinch, double tap to zoom in, just like any Google Maps. To start flapping, tap the pause button. To change the speed, put your finger on the map, move up a little bit, and you speed up. Tilt your iPhone to the right or to the left to change direction. Or roll it forth or back to change height. Watch the status bar where the altitude is displayed. Double tap to slow down to speed limit. To access places, tap the places button. You'll see a list of your place marks. Tap one to edit it or double tap to start flying at the location. These are the streets of San Francisco. Back to Apple at Cupertino. Let's fly up a little bit. Of course, you can add your own place marks. Tap the yellow pin. And back on the places list, you see a new entry at the top of the list. All address data are already filled in automatically. Once again, visit the Alps, fly up a little bit, add a place mark, and you see a new entry, it's Haldenstein in Switzerland. To share your place mark, tap the share button. Enter some details and create a mail which is sent to Tinby Software. After a check, it will be put into the online section of Fly. This is online, shared by other users. So let's visit some strange places. For example, Dubai Islands. Or some green carpets in California. The settings page is one tap away. You can change the Google Maps style, have a look, no more satellite but a map style. You can change the units to metric and omit the map overlay. Now we have a clean map view. Back to the settings, on the top you find a button to go to the device's location using GPS. This is Timby Software in Germany. Happy flapping!